In this video, I'm going to show you a really nice trick that you can use to find the equation of a line and the gradient using a Casio ClassWiz calculator. And for this video, we're going to work through a simple example. We're going to find the equation of a line and the gradient for a line that passes through 1, 3 and 2, 5. And the first step in doing this is slightly strange. We're going to put the calculator into statistics mode. So we're going to press the menu button then we're going to navigate to where it says statistics. So we're going to choose option six. This will present with various options and we want the one that looks like the equation of a line. And so the second option, y equals a plus bx, looks like the equation of a line. You've got the equation y equals mx plus c, b is your gradient or your value of m, and then a is going to be your y-intercept, which is also your value of c with the normal line equation. So we're going to choose option two. We're now in this mode here and it lets you put in the data. And so I'm going to start by putting in the x value. So we've got 1 and then we've got 2 for the x. It automatically fills in the y as 0, but we're going to override that. And the y values are 3, so we've got the point 1 and 3, and then the point 2 and 5. So we've now inputted all of our statistics data. So what we need to do now is do regression calculation. Technically, this will give you the equation of the line of best fit, but because we know that these points are definitely on the line, because we've chosen points that are actually on the line, the line of best fit and the actual line will be the same. So what we want to do now is press the button Option. Then we want to choose Regression Calc, so that's Option 4. And then we get presented with this here. So you've got Y equals A plus BX, and you have to interpret this. So you've got A is 1 and then B is 2. So that gives you the equation Y equals 1 plus 2X. Your B value is your gradient. And if you switch the equation round, you get Y equals 2X plus 1, which is the answer. What you should also look out for is this value of R. If this is the correct equation of the line, you should expect an R value of either 1 or minus 1. If you're getting an R value that's a decimal, it means you've not got the equation of the line, but rather an equation of a line of best fit. So I hope this video was helpful to you, and if it was, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.